Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Marcus Freelance here, and I'm going to show you a game where I get 9 kills, since it's my record from the 8 kills previously. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing the Hatcher all week, and uh, this is like the pivotal moment of all my Hatcher glory, where I just like, you know, just kind of fucking breaks it and just go like Vietnam, Vietnam sooner and just go straight into jungle here and kill people. So, you know, you can see from the beginning, it's it's the perfect matchmaking uh, with the Hatcher. Just here for, you know, that that is kind of like the perfect matchmaking for any tank. Um, I think it's different for SPGs since SPGs want to have higher tiers because then people are more slow in... They follow ticks really and not just rush and kill them. But uh, for tank deserts and every tank other than that, it just like this is the perfect matchmaking. And I, I can't do these high kill streaks if it, if it's not tier four. Like if it's tier like if it's even tier five, I can't even go above uh, four or two kills. And if it's tier six, you know, I I, I mostly don't even get the kills because. And it's not because I do bad in tier 6, like I, I do very good uh, tier 6 games in the Hetzer where I, I, like I do a lot of damage, like I cripple the enemy team's uh, heavy tanks, but I just do not get the kills. Here comes the first kill, so I'm firing premium shot at the M3 Lee, one shot him, and... <laughs> It, just a disclaimer for all the people who hate premium shells. And that is, I could have fired any shell in my entire armory and it would have killed him. Like, whatever happened there. So, there's the first moment I noticed him. I bounce a shot of another headser. I zoom in and I kill him. Like, and now we're going to get in some panic because soon I'm going to get a shot on me. And I have to kill these people in front of me. Like it's, like it's really important that I kill that person. But I'm gonna get a shot at from the beginning there. And I, it's it's only on the tracks, and I miss, and it just kind of pisses me off that I, like, it misses such an expensive. But I cannot soon realize that this guy is, yeah, he's not gonna hurt me. As a, he only has a 37 millimeter gun. It got a good penetration, but the armor thickness on the headser is 60 millimeters. But it's sloped, so it's an effective 120 millimeters if you angle it or stuff like that. And it he only has five HP left, but I still use my last premium shells just because I don't know, like I I don't I don't really care about damage and stuff like that. I know damage like for the guys of you that just began World of Tanks or just don't know about it. Damage is like a hundred times more important. This is our just normal armor piercing for the Hetzer. And it still, you know, penetrates and kill people with one shot, just like the uh, premium shell. Like, it, it, it's really no different. It's just that on the off chance that I can penetrate people, it's I use the premium shells, you know. So now I have eight kills. I just kind of, like, never noticed that I get so much skills until now, really. Um, but, I mean, you you could do these games without firing premium shells. Like, any kill that I had in this game could have been killed by just the armor piercing or just by the high explosives in one shot, and it's amazing. Uh, now, in real life... I could definitely have killed him with one shot. Definitely. Like, there's no question about it that if I penetrated the people here and with this uh, shell and with the high explosive or the arm piercing, yeah, they would be they would be dead. So it's a historically accurate gun. But the Hatzer actually never used it, and that kind of bothered me. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> I got eight, nine kills, and eight. Nine kills and it was amazing, and I actually did like the full damage of most of the tanks there, and it's just an amazing tanks, and I think everybody should go get it.